Hello everyone, welcome to Retro Game Attic, your low-budget YouTube gaming show with a royalty-free soundtrack. Unless you've been living underneath a rock for the past 30 years, I'm sure you know all about the Nintendo Game Boy. You know, that massively popular handheld console that sold 118 million units throughout its lifespan from 1989 through 2005. No big deal or anything. While not as well known, its predecessor, the Nintendo Game & Watch, was much more primitive in design than its newer counterpart and lacked some key features that made the Game Boy massively successful. With the Game Boy's biggest advantage being interchangeable game cartridges. Nonetheless, though, due to its small footprint, affordable price point, and form factor, the Game & Watch series of handhelds sold very well with releases spanning from 1980 all the way through 1991. Game & Watch handhelds came in a variety of shapes, sizes, and with different screen and button configurations. So why am I the 10,000th YouTuber to talk about these classic Nintendo handhelds? Well, there's a relatively obscure 1980s handheld computer that was developed using Nintendo Game & Watch architecture, the BassMate computer, also known as the BassMate 2000. The BassMate was initially released in 1984 under Telco branding and subsequently released under Probe 2000 and KMD company brandings. So, what was this thing? Upon first glance, you can clearly see that the BassMate computer, while not identical, closely resembles the multi-screen variant of the Game & Watch. It's roughly the same size, the rubber face buttons have the same feel and responsiveness, the battery cover is the same, and it even sounds like a Game & Watch. I found out about this weird piece of Nintendo history a few years ago from a friend of mine, and there really isn't a ton of information on the internet about its background. Most of the background information here was covered by the good people over at BeforeMario.com, so I have to give a shout out and credit to them for providing the crux of information and photos in this video. Seriously, check them out when you get a chance. Now, I will be the first to admit that I don't really know much about phishing, but a simple Google search yielded plenty of results for phishing lure phone apps. But back in the mid-1980s when this thing was released, the idea of an affordable consumer-grade phishing lure selection computer was unusual. The Bassmate was conceived by two American businessmen, Bill Olegis and his associate Ed Miller. Both men had extensive experience in the coin-operated game industry and were most notably the former president and former vice president, respectively, of Taito America. Bill O, an avid bass fisherman himself, laid the groundwork for the Bassmate and created a bass fishing lure selection sequencer. Bill admired the portability, small form factor, and overall cost-effectiveness of the then-recently-released Nintendo Game & Watch units, and felt they were an ideal application for his consumer-grade fishing lure selection program. Luckily, while at Taito America, Bill and Ed had previously established connections with Nintendo and pitched them at their idea. Nintendo, specifically Gunpei Yokoi, was interested, so a deal was struck and Nintendo agreed to co-develop and produce the Bassmate. The project was assigned to Nintendo R&D 1 under the direction of the Game & Watch Development Group. The Bassmate was released in 1984 at an initial price of 80 US dollars and sold primarily through Sears retail stores and mail order catalogs. Exact sales figures are not available, but Bill O recalled that they sold approximately 100,000 units. Definitely no sales slouch. And due to its success, several successor models were created. The Bassmate 2, the Wally Mate, and the Trout Mate. However, these units were not produced by Nintendo and were manufactured in China. Let's take a closer look at the unit itself. The Bassmate computer was bundled with several items. You of course get a nice box with some colorful graphics, a thermometer, and an owner's manual with tons of fishing related information. I was able to procure a KMV branded unit here, but I unfortunately am missing the box and thermometer. The Game & Watch inspiration is very apparent. The Bassmate features a folding clamshell design, dual LCD screens on the face of the unit, a clock slash alarm, and several buttons to input various commands and parameters. While not too interesting, the back of the unit has the same markings and a serial number sticker as a typical Game & Watch, and takes two quote-unquote button cell batteries. And just listen to those glorious beeps and boops that this thing emits. It's so awesome. So the unit itself seems pretty simple. There's just three steps as per the instruction manual. You have step one, enter the conditions. You have the season, water temperature, water depth, time of day, structure, cover, water clarity, and wind. 
Step two is just compute. That's when the unit does its thing. And step three is use this lure. So nothing too crazy here. At the time of its release, I can absolutely see people finding use for the bass mate. It was probably a nifty little digital tool that made you the envy of your respective retirement community. But today, it doesn't really float my boat. I'd say it's best suited for shelf duty with other various obsolete tech. Seriously though, it's a cool little weird piece of Nintendo history. Thank you so much for taking the time to check out my video. I'd like to thank BeforeMario.com again for providing most of the information found here, and stay tuned for more.